I want to try an art experiment. A while back I found an interesting colour pencil app and I never really did anything with it or put it to the test. So we're going to do that today. The colour pencil picker app can help you to select colours that are in a reference. What you can do is select a set of pencils and it does have most of the common artist pencils in here. And then you can also upload a reference photo. It then gives you this little set of crosshairs and wherever the crosshair is it will show you the colours that make up that section of the photo. So there's two sort of versions of this app. There's the free version and the paid for version. The free version shows you two colours at the bottom, but you can unlock the third if you watch an advert. Although you do have to watch the advert, I think it's about every 10 minutes to keep that third colour. It also gives you the colour ratio at the bottom, although in the free version it only ever shows you one to one. There is also a paid for version, this removes the adverts, gives you that third colour and updates the ratio. So for this experiment we are going to use the paid for version. Now I want to test this app and see how well it actually works and I've been trying to think of the fairest way to do that. So what I want to do is find a photo that I can draw twice. I want to draw it once using my own methods and then I want to draw it a second time using Using the app and then at the end we can compare the two drawings and see how it worked. I want to find a reference that has a lot of different colours and ideally quite bright vibrant colours just because I think it'll be more fun to draw. Although I don't want something that's going to take too long because I do have to draw this twice. I don't want a 10 hour drawing that I have to do twice. I've had a look around and I'm going to draw this cocktail. So let's get straight into the first drawing which will be using the app. Now the first thing I need to do is select the colour pencil set that I want to use. I'm going to select the 36 set of Prisma colours. Now I do actually have the 72 set, but I had a bit of a look at the app before starting the drawing and it seems like if you put in the 72 set it wants to use literally every colour. So I don't want to use 72 pencils for this drawing, so I'm going to put in a smaller size and just use these. I'll import my reference and then let's draw. Now it was very much my strategy to start at the top and work my way down. Usually I would draw in much larger sections, maybe one colour at a time, but here I just wanted to work my way around the reference. So I started on the lemon, just working in a very small area at a time. I wanted to try and as closely copy what the app was telling me to draw, but it was quite tricky because if you move the crosshairs even a tiny bit, it seems like you get completely different colours. So I was trying, for example, with this yellow to put this in all of the areas that I could see on the app it was saying to use the yellow and then add other colours bit by bit on top of it. I thought that would probably be the fastest way. Quite quickly I did realise that it was asking me to draw with colours that I wouldn't necessarily usually pick for these areas. So for example the quite thick orange line around the edge of the lemon. I would have picked some more brownish tones for there because it does look a little bit earthy to me, whereas it wanted me to use a variety of oranges. So it ended up looking more vibrant than I think I would have picked. It also did get me to use some colours that I wouldn't usually use. In the 36 set of Prismacolor there is a metallic silver and a metallic gold and it didn't get me to use loads of these colours but I wouldn't usually use them at all. Around the top of this blue section the vast majority of it it just wanted me to use the one colour. Now it did say on the app that if I selected the 36 set I would get less accurate results because there wasn't as many pencils in that set but I did think it would vary it more than it has. As I got further down in the blue section though it was asking me to mix in some other colours or use some different blues so that was good. On this area on the right that is one of the places where it wanted me to use quite a lot of the metallic silver which looks quite light on the camera but actually looked far more grey in real life. I did try and use it underneath other colours though so that it was a bit less reflective. One area that I was quite surprised by was this area on the left where to me it looks very obviously purple and I tried really hard to see if it was going to suggest a purple and I looked all around there with the crosshair and it just thought it was pink so obviously that's what I did but if I were drawing it I would be using a purple there. Down the bottom there is quite a solid block of red and once again it wanted me to mostly use the same red throughout this area which did make it quite easy and as you can see towards the end of this it is looking very bright and vibrant. It was also a very relaxing drawing. 
Okay, so that's our first drawing done. Now I need something to compare it to. I'm going to make my own drawing using my usual method. Now, full disclosure, I actually drew this before I drew with the app because I didn't want it to influence my color choices. It seemed to be the fairest way to do it. The first thing I needed to do was swatch out my colors. Although I do have swatches of the Prisma colors, I wanted to make this fair and draw with a 36 set and I wanted to have all 36 out in front of me. So this is where I draw out little blocks of color so I can see what each of these colors actually look like on the paper. And then once I've done that, I can get to drawing. I once again started with the lemon and I begin by looking at my swatches and comparing them to the reference and then I want to look for the lightest colour that I can see on the lemon. Once I've got a base down with the lightest colours I then continue to compare the swatches to the reference looking for the next darkest colour and so on until I get to the darkest colour in that area. From there I work my way back up to the lightest always looking at my swatches and the reference throughout. Now I was kind of pleased I guess that when I I was drawing with the app it was picking a lot of the same colors that I was picking that said it is only a 36 set so there aren't that many choices particularly on the more yellow and orange areas but I guess it's nice to know that I pick colors as well as a computer because I was selecting my own colors for this top blue bit particularly where there is quite a lot of different detail created by the ice cubes up here i did choose more blues to try and create that texture and that's something that i didn't see the app doing i also added that purple that i'm sure i can see on the left hand side and i used a bit more variety at the bottom with a few more reds if you'd like to watch a tutorial where you see in detail me going through how i went about drawing this cocktail i do have it available on my patreon as well as loads of other tutorials and if you'd like to see what they're like i do have a free version when you sign up to my mailing list. I've put a link in the description. As I was getting towards the end of my drawing, that's where I generally start thinking about adding in details. And I did find it far easier to add details on this drawing than when I was using the app. With the app, I was trying to add in any details as I went, whereas I do add them in at the end. I was trying with the app to look for colors that I could use to add in details as I was working my way around, but I did struggle to find a lot of the finer points with that crosshair. And I didn't want to go back at the end and try and have another look because I didn't think that that would be a fair test. So I'm going to add in the last few details on my drawing and then that's my one finished. So let's have a look at both of these side by side now that we have something to compare. My drawing is on the left and then the drawing using the app is on the right. Let's talk about the most obvious differences first. The drawing from the app does look far more vibrant because in a lot of areas, for example, in the blue at the top, it was only wanting me to really use one color up here. So rather than building up in layers, I was basically just putting a block color down and actually on a lot of that drawing I was putting blocks of color down rather than gradually building it up. That is making my drawing look more detailed. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a bad thing. It almost just looks like they've been drawn in different styles by different people. I seem to be much more enthusiastic about using darker colors whereas the app seems to want to go more for the lighter, more vibrant. So for example, down this left hand side, mine looks much deeper. If you look at this area around the edges of the segments, mine is once again much deeper. The app, as I mentioned, wanted me to use a lot more oranges, whereas I used a mixture of oranges and browns. Now I am biased, but I think that mine is closer to the reference. That said, you're not looking at the reference, you're looking at the drawing, and the drawing by the app does look like a cocktail. As far as how long both drawings took, mine took two and a half hours and drawing using the app took three hours and 10 minutes. So it did take me a fair bit longer with the app, although it's possible that I could have done it much faster, maybe if I had worked out a strategy before I got going. One thing that I did really like about the app is that I didn't need to think at all while I was drawing, which meant that I was able to sing loudly to music while I was drawing, where usually I have to concentrate much more than that. So make of that what you will. Having seen this test, do you think that it's an app that you would use or do you think you'll use swatching or a different method? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you would like to see me do anything else with this app, if you'd like to see me do any other tests. All right, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Happy drawing, guys. I'll see you in the next one.